Hello, I'm Lloyd Ganton, and this is my wife, Judy. Welcome to Ye Old Carriage Shop. The Old Carriage Shop focuses on Jackson automobiles, but offers a surprising amount of diversified automobiles and different memorabilia. Coca-Cola is the most internationally advertised product in the world, and the Coca-Cola room displays a large variety of this history, which is unforgettable. This pedal car room is a fun and amazing awakening to the world of children's little cars. You will go back in time if you lived in the 50s and 60s as you step into what I call my mother's kitchen. This museum is an unexpected delight. This is a beautiful 1932 Pierce Arrow built in Buffalo, New York. It was featured quite often as a gangster automobile or a movie star's possession. Today it is here in our museum with an eight cylinder engine. Special headlights are built into the fenders and a special hood ornament that is unique to the Pierce Arrow. This is one of our favorite cars in the museum. It's a 1932 Roadster, a real hot rod. It has a Ford body with a big block Chevrolet engine in it. It's one that I, as a young man, strived to buy but couldn't afford it. Today we are enjoying it and it's a fast car, a fun car, and can be driven as a convertible or with the hard top on. As you can see, we've added the flames and this is a popular car with both the young and the old. This room is a step back in time where you will find vintage collections from Jackson, Jacobson's, and more. Original games, dolls, toys, and other memories of the 50s and 60s. Every corner has a treasure waiting to be seen. As more groups and tours were requesting a place to serve refreshments, along with the need for a functioning kitchen, I decided to build a replica of my mother's yellow kitchen. I still had many of the original items. The appliances had to be General Electric, as my dad was an engineer at GE, and there had to be a yellow chrome table just like home. The cupboards are full of original retro dishes, and this white porcelain table even belonged to Lloyd's mother. Visitors often remark how this room brings back memories of their own home or grandma's kitchen. These are the examples of the cars that were built in Jackson, Michigan, starting in 1903. There were 24 companies that built these cars, and we have examples of 17 of these on display here in the museum. Jackson could have been the little Detroit of Michigan if not for Henry Ford and the advent of the assembly line, which killed the manufacturing of cars in Jackson in the 1920s. Before that, Jackson was abounding with cars being built right here in our community. The first car built was a 1903 Jackson spelled J-A-X-O-N. It was a steam car and was steered with a tiller and has a mother-in-law seat on the front. This was the first local car that came out in the streets of Jackson. Then there was a Jackson car spelled J-A-C-K-S-O-N. That was the most famous car ever built in Jackson, Michigan. 
Between 1903 and 1924, about 15,000 of these vehicles were built. Of course, you had the Briscoe, the Imperial, the Earl, Fuller, Argo, and the Carter to mention a few. The Hollier, as far as we know, is extinct with no known model to exist. We have been looking for one for quite some time. The Imperial was built on Mechanic Street in Jackson from 1907 to 1916. We do have an Imperial, and both that and our Fuller are one of a kind. Our Fuller is a 1908 model with buggy wheels on it that were not reliable in the mud or the snow. Another company was the Standard Electric, and their electric car proceeded the modern version by nearly 100 years. There are two that we know of, but they cannot be bought and brought to Jackson, Michigan. Here on display are two 1922 Earl automobiles that were built in Jackson, Michigan. We are pleased to have an unrestored Earl as well as its brother, which has been restored. These two cars are side by side and gives us a clear example of what it takes to restore a car to its original condition. It takes a lot of time and effort and this side-by-side -side display lets our visitors see exactly what it's like to start with a car that is unrestored. While not a Jackson automobile, this 1912 Oakland brass car was built nearby in Pontiac, Michigan. From the same era as our Earls, this car was also a complete restoration. Truly an award-winning beautiful automobile. This is a 1951 Frazier Manhattan built in the Kaiser Frazier plant on Water Street. It was a division of the Kaiser Motor Car Company of Willow Run, Michigan. It's a four-door convertible, which was very rare in the 50s. You didn't see many at all. This Manhattan is mostly original, including the interior, and is a very interesting automobile, which we have acquired recently for our museum. The last car built in Jackson at the same plant as the Manhattan was the Kaiser Darren. This 1954 Kaiser Darren is a beautiful car. With its fiberglass body and unique doors that slide into the front fenders on each side, it has a six cylinder engine, a top speed of about 100 miles an hour. It is a rare car in that there are very few left. Partly thanks to a freak snowstorm, where 50 finished cars were completely buried while waiting to be shipped. Once thawed, they were deemed too ruined to sell due to damage to the fiberglass bodies. As we go through the array of cars that were built in Jackson, Michigan, it's amazing to see that Jackson was the auto capital of the Midwest between 1903 and 1924. If not for the Ford assembly line process and the $400 Model T, which made competition on a smaller scale next to impossible, it would have been interesting to see how different this town, Jackson, would be.
everything here that we have collected has been a real passion for us and we really enjoy sharing this with our community. We have hoped that you enjoyed this presentation and we invite you to visit us. If you are interested in touring the old carry shop, you can make arrangements by calling 517-750-4300.